All right, welcome everyone to this emergency meeting. So far this week, we have gotten reports of a man going out at night, breaking into people's houses and murder them by according to witnesses and residents. This man would inject his victims with a heart-stopping drug before running off. The picture behind me was footage from a vlogger the moment before death. He was doing a vlog before the suspect broke into his house, pinned him to the ground and injected him as seen in this picture. I think this must be from all of the reports we have. This man has been seen everywhere. We also recently have a kidnapping report of a woman who was believed to be injected and then dragged outside of her home. I think it's about time we catch this criminal. Until we catch him, we should put the town into lockdown. Agree. This man needs to go behind bars. He is extremely dangerous and needs to be arrested. In fact, I already know who this guy might be. His name could possibly be Tanner. If that's the case then we shall. This also means that all schools will close until we catch this thug. No! I don't want to do this math quiz. I want to go to Chuck E. Cheese's. Hi, you. For the final time, do your work right now and you are not going to Chuck E. Cheese's. <laughs> I want to go to Chuck E. Cheese's right now. No. You are not going to Chuck E. Cheese's. First of all, school is in session and you are required by law to be here. Secondly, there was a brawl there last night involving two women who were fighting over money. Thirdly, you are not going and that's final. I want Chuck E. Cheese's, 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 I want Chuck E. Cheese's. Here we go again. I want Chuck E. Cheese's right now. W A. That's it. You have detention after school, and you're not going to recess. W.A. Hello. Hello, we have the town sheriff who would like to talk to you. All right, send him in. Good afternoon, sir. How can I help you? I am here to talk about something serious. I am required to visit every school in this area to inform everyone about the dangerous suspect that's on the loose. There is a man out there wearing a white suit, red tie, blue pants, brown shoes, and has brown hair. This guy has been going out at night breaking into homes and buildings to inject people with some drug that stops their heart before running off or taking their bodies with him. Sightings were also reported near this school, and one mother told us that one of her kids saw the exact same man stalking before running off upon being spotted. Oh my god. I can't believe what's happening right now. Just how crimes in Palatagon City are getting worse. This school is going under a lockdown, and I'm sending all students and staff home. Sheriff Jerry. Mr. Hernandez, sir, the suspect was spotted headed for this school. Oh my god! It just gets worse. This school is entering lockdown now. Let me go to Chuck E. Cheese's now. For the final time, hi you. Hi. Said. No. Oh no. Please don't be anything bad. Attention Palatagon Elementary School. We are entering lockdown category 3 due to reports of a suspected criminal headed towards the school according to police. Teachers, please lock your doors and windows, close your blinds, and have everyone go to the back of the room with the lights off. This is not a drill. Repeat. This is not a drill. 
Emergency code 14,151,619 has been executed. We will inform you when things are safe. Remember to stay quiet and calm at all times. All doors and windows outside will be locked with alarms set. Repeat. Lockdown category 3 is in progress. Oh my god I am scared. Everyone get to the back now. I will turn off the lights and lock the doors and windows and shut the blinds. I can't believe this is happening. I know. We never went high to a category 3 before. Alright everyone. Remain calm at all times and stay silent until an all clear is given. Ugh. Do I have to sit back here with this charcoal? I mean those charcoal looking pebbles on the ground. A caillou. I think that's dried up mouse poop on the floor. What? Uh, oh god! Why didn't anybody tell me? You Caillou. You are very disgusting. You've just puked all over my desk. Oh, so it's my fault then. I'm sorry that this school has a rodent infestation. You better not talk back to me. Oh, shut up. You stupid whore. Stop fighting you two right now. We are under a severe lockdown. Oh, so you wanna play? Let's play then. You slut. You wanna go to the principal's office after this? I can drag you right there after the coast is clear. Now be quiet. You're putting us in danger by doing this. I'd rather be at Chuck E. Cheese's instead of this stupid school. I hate you all. And for you Scott who thinks he's the higher authority than everyone else. I do not think I'm the higher authority. You clearly are the one, because all you do is throw stupid tantrums when you don't get your way. You force everyone to do what you want and you think that everyone should treat you like a big figure. You think that everyone should be loyal to you and accept you as their master. You are way worse than Maya. Oh. So now I'm involved. Since when did I ever do anything? You always boss people around and crap. You and Kai you perfectly relate to each other. Now you're trying to compare me to this bitch. Hey. Who are you calling a bitch? Uh, you. No one ever calls me a bitch. Now shut up before I freaking tackle you like last time. Oh so this princess here wants to fight. Then let's fight. Come on. Don't be scared you uncute mean unloyal bossy dictator bitch trumps trump 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 like slut. Don't make me freaking beat you. I'm not the worst one and here you are. Everyone knows how stupid and childish you are. You are annoying. So annoying. You throw tantrums all the time. You're gross and disgusting. There is nothing you can do to get what you want. Don't even try you immature brat. Your pathetic tantrums are worthless. Everyone remains loyal to me because I am the golden figure here. You show no loyalty. And just for the record, I hate Chuck E. Cheese's. God that place freaking stinks like feet. Everyone who goes there are dirty rats like that stupid nasty mascot. You. Take. That. Back. Now. Now look what you've started Scott. I did not start this Caillou. Don't put the blame on me. Yes you did start this. You just had to call me out. Now do me a favor and shut up. Do me a favor and watch your mouth. Arr. Can you guys all stop fighting? You don't even realize the situation we are in. I freaking hate you all with a burning passion. You all treat me like garbage and I'm sick of it. No. You guys treat me like garbage. Actually, you treat everyone like garbage by bossing people around and think that you can get what you want. You always crave attention and don't even care about anyone but yourself. You aren't a real princess. Even if you make believe, you are a fraud. You're a disgrace under a crown.
You dare challenge me. I will beat you up until you cry for mercy. I always get what I want because I am the best. Can you guys for the love of God stop fighting? Oh my God you all are such children. Mind your freaking business you nosy peasant. This is what I'm exactly talking about. You think you're higher than everyone else and you think that you are the most important in this group than everyone else. You need to change your behavior right now because pretty soon you'll be walking down the wrong path. You are simply committing the sin of pride. Oh now you're calling me a sinner. That bald peasant is the one who causes the most trouble. Now you're saying that I'm the one who causes the most problems out of everyone. And guess what? You are. For the love of God. Will you guys stop fighting? All three of you. Stop fighting now. I will send you three to the principal's office. Like I even gave a crap anymore. I hate all of you and I wish you all bad luck. I had enough of you stupid bald immature annoying disgusting and crybaby peasant. I'm done with you too. You all just make my life more miserable. I'm tired of being bossed around by you Maya. You freaking traitor. You want to show me disrespect? Then let's freaking dance. I swear things aren't going to end good after this. I am going to hurt every single one of you. I'm going to kill you all. Arr.
Well, this is awkward. Oh my god. This doesn't look good. Please don't hurt me. Uh, hey. Uh, hey. We need to find a way out of here. I think there's an emergency exit down there. Follow me, little Bill. Behind you. Uh, hey. Please don't kill me. I'll get away from me, you creep. But I'm real scared. This is all your fault, Caillou. Oh no! <laughs> uh, hey. Everyone. Run! Please don't hurt me. Caillou and Maya. Principal's office. Right! Freaking. Now. <laughs> Maya, I will talk to you first. I can't believe you along with Scott and... Caillou! <laughs> ...misbehaved during a severe lockdown. You know that stuff like this is no joke, and should be taken seriously. I've checked security camera footage, and you aren't the one that started this drama, and so that means that you're not responsible for the damage caused to this school and the injuries and hospitalization of students. However, you are in trouble for getting involved and caused it to further escalate to the point where we're at right now. At this point, I'm going to leave you off with a warning. If this happens again, then this can result in a detention after school. Understand? Yes, I understand. Good. Now you may go wait outside with everyone waiting to be picked up by their families. Now on to you, Caillou. My. Freaking. God. Caillou. I can't fucking believe you cause lots and lots of damage to this school. Thanks to you, a lot of students and staff have gotten severely injured, injected by that perpetrator, and sent the majority of everyone to the hospital. Some people even died from cardiac arrest and tonic seizures because of you. This school may now go bankrupt because of your act and misbehaving during the lockdown and starting a fight that led the criminal to the school and got hundreds severely hurt. That is so it. You have crossed the fucking line. You are expelled until further notice. And one final thing kid. You will be responsible for the thousands of medical bills and it will only be you that will pay them in accordance to Palatagon City Law. Detective Henry will drive you home and we are calling your family about what you did and the fines you'll be responsible for. Come with me now, you're in trouble big time. Ah yes. I finally have enough to pay for the Super Mario Brothers movie. I've always wanted to watch it. Time to purchase. Oh no. Not Caillou's school again. What did he do this time? Hello? What did Caillou do this time? I hope it's nothing bad. I'm sorry to break it to your Boris, but unfortunately it is bad. In fact, it's really really god awful bad. Earlier today, we had the sheriff come to the school to inform us about a dangerous suspect on the loose. We were originally going to send everyone home at that time until when the criminal was reported heading towards the school, so we had to go under a category 3 lockdown. Caillou on the other hand decided to be immature and misbehave. 
he started a fight and escalated it to the point where it resulted in a small brawl between three students. This led to the criminal hearing the fight and broke into the school and caused mayhem. Caillou is expelled until further notice and is being dropped off by the detective. Oh my god! I can't believe that bald baby is idiot. His ass is in trouble big time. Your son once again put everyone in danger, as well as not to mention the medical bills he has to pay a total of $987,366. <laughs> I will make sure he pays the fines before they are due. I swear he has messed up his life big time. Have a good rest of your day. Caillou. You. Are. Finished. Big time. fucking believe you right fucking now. You've just put lots of people at your school in danger and sent many to the hospital dying from cardiac arrest and severe tonic seizures. Some has already died because of you and you have to pay all of these medical bills. That's so fucking it. I'm done. I'm so done with your shit. You are grounded 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 for nine nine four seven six four eight three six two eight two seven six six four nine eight four seven nine four nine five nine five seven three six six two eight three seven four four one six three eight nine five zero six nine six eight four seven three six five two five two seven three eight five nine five eight seven three six two six two seven four seven four seven six four seven four seven four seven four seven four seven seven four seven three seven three seven three six three six seven four eight five eight five six two six two eight three six five two seven two six four six two eight two six two five four three two four four eight Five nine nine six eight four seven four eight five nine nine decades. Go to your room right now, you stupid idiot, loser, jerk, bald abomination. You're grounded. Wow. W. Washington 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 George Wawa